Hey, what up, ShoeTube? This is Mo Butters back again on the Stone Cold Kicks channel, and we got another sick, lit beater box battle for you today. We got Mo Butters here, and then one to rock, one to stock. Rock them, sock them, kicks in the building. That's how we do it, two at a time, all the time. We're gonna slide into these. We got this beater box battle about to pop off. We got two Soul Supremacy beater boxes here. They're pretty close to the same cost, but a little bit different. One is $620, the other is $575 so a little slight difference you could tell us in the comments which box you think won overall or which box you think was like worth a little bit more money so make sure you drop a comment drop a like if you like the video and go ahead and hit the subscribe if you haven't already done that so hit the bell if you want to be on notification gang gang we're gonna slide right into these boxes if you check out the description you'll see the prices for all these boxes you'll also see the eBay links for our eBay stores where we sell a lot of shoes every day, post every day, new stuff, many different price ranges, a lot of stuff that comes out of these so supremacy beater boxes, we end up posting them right there on those links. And we got all kind of price prices, reasonable prices, some high, some low. Yep. Check us out. Cut deals where we can, and oh, then we yeah. have the heat available, exclusive stuff for the higher prices. We go slide right into these boxes though, Jordan. Black and gold box, newer something, size yeah. 6 youth. This is going to be youth hair. size, Luffy Heat, Jordan number 7 hair, Bugs Bunnies, got the white and gray, very light gray, and these are super clean, check the condition, they're worn but barely, worn only a couple of times, still super clean, not any really dirt on there, this front, it's hard to keep clean, this white part comes clean very easily. These are the good use condition, them Jordan number seven hairs. Six youth is the size. Let me know if you need it. Alright. Jordan face box. Always oh, gotta show that. OG box. Oh. Got some old heat in there. Original release. Those are looking super heat. fire and fresh. Are they even used ever? No. Brand new, dead stock. He's looking DF, real talk, though. Jordan number 16, the them breads. Yeah, these are dope, man. I don't even think this one even got pulled up. With the shrouds, those are super new, super fresh. Oh, uh, yeah, they're looking good, man. I'm pleased with these. It was size 11, size 11, with everything. Looking you can see the bottoms. So these are good to go, man. If they're worn um, maybe one time, looking fresh though. I had a, I think it was a wheat pair or something like that. I had a DS pair that Shut came me. in and they sold for 300, like quick, like real quick. So some of these 16s, they definitely go. These have only re-released in the countdown pack and they're slightly And that's different. it, oh yeah. Yeah, so um, that's pair number one. Yep, they're 16s. Well, we got this is looking like a Jordan number one, but the little wings. Oh, logo. yeah. Wings that's logo. Or something? Okay, no. This no. is some of these. Oh, okay. This is Jordan highs, but yeah. got the jump man on the front. Yeah. This is that white and red Chicago colorway. This is looking like the good warm condition. Let's check the size because I'm not sure if this is the original box on these. This is 11 and a half, 2012 release. And, um. Uh, white, red. Yeah, I guess this is the box. 11 and a half. Mm -hmm. Them Jordan Chicago's in a good use condition. A little slight crease, a little slight dirt on the bottom where you have to walk on dirt. Got these. Some of the first ever J's to release. Pretty cool hot fire. Chicago. Alright. So I got a Air Jordan. Size 10 and a half. Older. Below. Um, That's them bootleg 11 low IE. One of, his, black. one of my butter's favorites. Nah. And his favorite colors too. <laughs> Little Pittsburgh Pirate Edition. <laughs> but no, nah, these Not are exactly. uh, size 10, 10 and a half. Good use condition. Um, They come with the retro card. See that? So. They call those oh, Jordan 11s. We said it before. It's not the uh, Jordan 11 you might know and love with the patent leather on it. They're kind of different. They were made for the summertime with yeah. the with the, the vents on the side and everything. Jordan actually wore it, not these, but he wore the like black with the red. They were mainly black, and he wore them like one game in the playoffs um, during the '96 one game. season. It was one game, and that was about it. But uh, some people that like these though um, a lot. They're breezy on foot with all them vents. That's the black and zest colorway size so 10. Yeah, and black and zest, that is what they call Looking it. Super fresh. Got some older than that, some older J's than that. Silver box. Boom, altitudes. 
Hope I spoiled it. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Here they are. The Jordan 13 Altitude is the older version. It's the black and kind of basketball leather on the side with the green bottom. These are looking very good use condition. It's that size 10 of the Jordan Altitude's older release. It was the year 04, 2004. Had these on feet. Killing it. They came out again they a couple of years ago. Years one or two years ago, I think. Still good. Altitude 13 is older version. Looking very good overall. Slight creasing on there. And a little bit of use, but very good overall. And it's a black shoe, black Jordan. It's going to, you know, last a long time. It's pretty cool. Altitudes. So I got another 10 and a half. Another one. Fire red. Fire. So this is an older release. Um, just by looking at the box. Um, so it's not that. Let's see, what year is this one? Uh, 2006 is showing. Oh, so six. still fire red. Um, I still like these in my opinion. Very good use condition. Those especially cool. for the years. Not too much yellowing. Mm -hmm. um, may as well show classic, you Classic, very well recognizable on foot. Exactly. You can see those from a distance. No, that's some nice J's. And they come with the uh, lace locks. Lace locks included. And uh, Ten good and use half. condition. Not too much pretty creasing. Good. But these are pretty good. So Jordan 5 Fire Red. That's a good pair. That's a good pair. Okay, another face box. Probably some older stuff. Let's see what's in there. Size nine and a half. It could have be some hot fire ammo, but a size. Oh wow. So here we go. Another wow. pair of those. Back to back. Yep. Back to Jordan back. 16s. Wow. Original release. Face box my size that I got, nine and a half. Good use Two, condition. Very good use condition. 2000, it was actually late 2000, so these probably came out. 2001. That's them bread 16s. These are looking Somebody hot. Somebody might have had a, one to rock one to stock, man. And maybe we had it the same week, because we got right. some back-to-back -back pairs here, man. Got both the shrouds in here. Sure. Very good overall. No kind of soul so separation. This is just some OG heat. Them 16s. Probably been needing these since high school. Just that size nine and a half. Let me know if you need these. Pop team off. Um, so I got a older box, a little bit taped up, beat up. Older. But it's not really beat up. It's still holding up. A lot of tape oh, on there. I like these. Got though, some man. fire in there. That's not the original box. It's not. For the 3M5s. I like these. From man. the Rage and Bull Pack. For real. I have to show both of these. I like those a lot. Me Used to too, have them for man. sure. This is fire to me. That whole gray, black looking top Ooh. is 3M Flick in the right light. Uh -huh. We can't adjust studio can't lights all go. the time to make it flick properly. But if you hit that with the disrespect with, to tongues. Hit that with the flash <laughs> on your phone, it's gonna light yeah. up to a completely different color. Uh -huh. I've actually gotten questions on eBay because uh -huh. I got pictures of them regular and then picture with the flash. And people are like, Why do you have two different shoes pictured? It's just the same shoe. It's hit not it with too the flash, yellow it either. different. And fives are like in my top three of Jordans, oh, man. That's Check that fire. And I have that? not seen these. I actually haven't got a pair of these. Size 10. Size Whoops. 10. Whoops. Fumble. Size 10. Jordan number five. It's that fire. This is, man. I got to put this in the middle like dead. It's in that the replacement middle. box. Yeah, replacement box. That's Pulled a Jordan in. 5 box. Got him. Yeah, these are good to go, man. That's a Jordan 5 box, though. Jordan 5 box. Say that from the outside. All right. Busting out old stuff. I got a. Even older box, older silver box. Oh, this cool. is an original. That is though. At least the box. I got my fourteens in that box. Uh, pop that cherry. Pop <laughs> it. Pop it. Pop that cherry. Them Jordan number twelve cherries, white and red. These looking like the original release. This box happens to be a replacement because I'm looking at it and it says Jordan Strong. Yeah, these are original OG. release. Probably was that 1996 or seven. And this is that size. Oh boy, nine and a half. No butter size. Have to do it to them. But I see these need a little bit of repairs. Some repairs and reparations over here because they're kind of falling apart from age. These are originals, not previously repaired, but they need some repair because it's a bottom tire. Right? A little blowout. Yeah. Just like that rib cage looking part. And it's kind of got a little separation right here, real top. Keep yeah, I don't see no separation on the on the uh, left shoe. No, I've had definitely other pairs of uh, I have 12s. Had 12s. They have that. These are OGs. These yeah. are from 1996. And I had my old four pair. They they separate right here at the bottom of the rib cage or whatever you want to call it. Right there on, on top of the carbon fiber. But, uh, oh yeah, it is self and soul separation on there. Yeah, that bottom peek comes off, but it peek -a -boo, actually peek -a -boo. glues easy. <laughs> peek -a -boo, peek -a -boo, this peek -a -boo. piece comes off. It does. But it glues up easy because it's kind of rubber. Yeah. You gotta repair it though. 
I don't know. Oh, jeez, like man. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Replacement box, but this is like a same era type of box, and this is that size. Nine and a half, drawer number 12. Cherries. Let me know. Oh, jeez, man. Yeah. I'll just keep them on towards the front. So I got a size 8. Um, Jordan. White cement. Nike Air. Um, these have been Nike worn. Nike Air on the back. Kind of heavily. So I'm gonna be real. Warm, but it's still some hot fire. Still fire. Got to clean those stuff. up. Yeah. Get some of those creases out. Clean them up. Clean those laces. Tread on the bottom is still good. Like it's not. But they'll get a good cleaning. And you will have a Nike on the back. Um, so this is a size eight. That small size eight. Um, still, like I said, it's a newer release. So it's not not too much yellowing on the nets or nothing like that. White cement four with still Nike Air on the back. One of the top uh, Jordan fours. Right there with the bread. Still that fire and a hot sale because those will sell fast. Yeah. Especially where we like to sell on eBay. eBay loves them. Here we go. This is another OG box. What you got, man? Old looking Nike box. All these OG boxes, man. Had a bunch man. of these back in the day for sure. This is looking like a size 10. Air Nike Max Air Max 9.5 with the red little lace pieces right there cool gray mostly all around nike swoosh right there in red got the 3m on the back these are looking very good use condition this is that og release looking like a 2004 probably 2005 release yeah so it says december 04 manufacturer yeah, it's 04 because the og release had like a nike air max box it was like a gray and black box it had like an air max on it, so. yep. but that's yep. still a good Show, show them that. Yeah. Nice, yeah, that these are the anatomical out. arch supports that come in. These are, a lot of people like these. Little addition in there, brand new, and these are looking very good. Use condition, worn only a little bit. And this is that size 10, like the Air Max 95s. Let me know if you need these, OGs. Oh, All right, so I got a pair of Kobe's. Kobe. So this is what the box. Big box. Size 12. Um, Brighties. Bright yellow. Put your sunglasses on for warning. Shining on. I've got the sunshine. It's more of a yellow than a neon green though. Um, so these are the highs. These are the tens. I'm going to show you both. These are the tens. Uh, in my opinion, the nine highs were better when he started releasing these highs after he uh, tore his Achilles. But uh, nonetheless, these are decent little Laker colorway. Uh, yellow. Black though. Um, size 12. So these are decent. A little bit of a Bruce Lee colorway. Yeah, I actually had the Bruce Lee fives. I kind of regret it, but then I kind of don't. But I sold, I sold them after some years after I got a good price for them. But I remember I got those from the House of Hoops. Uh, it was mad limited. I paid 120 for them, but I didn't think they would blow up the way they are now. Like you have a DS pair on there, there for like 400, 500 dollars. Oh, honey. Um, for the original Bruce Lee, which were the, were the fives, he came out with them in different models later on, but nothing like the Kobe five Bruce Lees. Those original. are the ones that go the highest. Um, and uh, I sold those for a good price. These are cool. For sure. Kobe. We got two boxes Kobe left Bean. over here. I got some J's. Looking like some Jordan number fours, I would have to guess. Some fours. Got some oh, fours. you got the got bread. Some fire. Yeah, I had bread the Bread fours. Let's take a look. These are nasty for sure. One of my favorites. This is a size nine. Very good use condition. Looking okay. Slight crease. There's not even no stuffer in there though, but so if I put a stuffer in there, they be looking nice and good and barely any cracking stuffing slight crack on the midsole that happens yeah. every time especially with this release these are looking to release again in 2019 with the with, nike air on the back on the back and hopefully they got the paint cracking issue fixed like they did on the uh, black cement threes those right. do not crack wear them a bunch no cracking no crack attack like these these are a little bit cracked out and these are uh, a very good use conditional size nine Size nine. Looking good, looking good. I like the suede on these. Um, I, like I always did like the suede on these. Um, but the original, I think the suede was more of a new buck than this. But, right. Uh, hopefully, like I said, they probably keep everything OG and fix that. The paint crack that, they'll, they'll probably change these wing tabs and put the little extra piece right there. When I used to have a regular job, this is what I used to wear on a lot of my jobs. Mm -hmm. Black shoe and then it held up pretty nice. Just wear these and they look good all the time. We if they're a little bit beat up. Them bread fours, hot fire, size nine. 
All right, so I'm down to my last bullet. And last one, another Jordan face box. Always got to do that. Face action. And I got a Jordan four. Another oh, four, back to back. Close. Don't be shy. <laughs> so I got a Jordan four back to back. Oh, that that's laser. That fire. It Size looked, 13 is looking It looked to me like a Go fire forks. red four, but no, look closely. That's what look I'm closely. Saying. Size 13. Zoom in, got the details. Geek. Yikes. Laser, laser. Same similar issues. Same similar issues. They got the retro card. Got to make sure I show that. Um, yeah, same similar issues. Just not on the exterior too much, but on the interior. Just some chipping. Uh, fire um, all this around. was a fire. This was kind of a rare here. Um, yeah, we don't get these often. Had them yeah, once yeah. or twice only. Pretty good, pretty good. And this is a size 13, my size, but uh, these are fire, but I'm not going to be Big keeping size them. Size 13. Um, going to go for FS. Test yeah. the market, see what they're looking like. Especially with this size. Like, they make, you know, a less amount of these sizes, so this will probably go for a Big size. good price. Like as a clear red. Laser. Lace wings. He got. He thought they were just the fire reds, yeah. but once I cracked them open, I could see. From the side, I look like the fire reds, but upon closer review, these are the lasers. Hot fire. Crazy rare. This is a grail. And I've oh, seen the paint nice. chipping in worse condition, though. Actually, to yeah, be honest definitely. with you, those are good. completely. Those are good. Big size thirteen. You know what? I'm gonna put that. I'm gonna go for, ahead and do it for the number one spot. I'm gonna go ahead and, and do it. And this my last one. shoe over here. What do I got? Pair these. Anybody recognize this from this angle? From this angle? Maybe from this angle. If I let you read it, it's gonna say Jordan number 11. This is the box, but let's see the shoe. The contents are in there. Condition. This looking like some Concords. This is gonna be the little latest release, a little bit older. So like 2011. Pretty sure 2011. And this is gonna be eight and a half Jordan 11 Concord. These are barely rocked. Like Bam. I don't even know if they were rocked. My absolute favorite Jordan for real ever. One of the most recognizable. Crazy hot fire. Go the ahead and talk to them. Two, about. three in the back. The new release is coming out soon. This holiday. They're not gonna look much like this at all. The patent leather gonna be way higher. The back gonna have a four or five on it. Like Jordan wore that a lot or something. But. Four, five. These yeah, I guess because the Space Jams had the four or five on it, so they're gonna do that. I guess. I Why did the Space Jams have four or five? I know. I I, I thought that too though. And you the Space I mean? Jams had the stitched in four or five on it. Yeah. Supposedly the Concord is gonna have just this little embossed screen print yeah, type screen of, print yeah thing on it. Well, whatever. These are the hot fire, damn near the best Jays ever in many's opinion. Concord eleven highs, eight and a half. Fire condition, I don't even know if they're worn. They're looking kind of brand new dead stock, just like dead old stock. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That, that happens, like when I have my cool grades at old, that happens if it's just Classic sitting in the box. Classic discoloring, yeah. that shows the authenticity yeah. on these. It if does. you got a super icy pair, bah, you got the foo on. <laughs> you can't have no icy pair of these right now. It's not it's happening. It's not possible. It's not happening. So that's some Concords. The Jordan 11, the Fire! Epic. You could be wearing those and your grandma gonna know. She may not yeah. know nothing about shoes, but she gonna know these are Jordan. I like those, baby. <laughs> so that's looking like it for the Beater Box Battle today here on the Stone Cold Kicks channel. Before we leave, we gonna go ahead and show you the off heat. We gonna you know rock what? Style. I'll go first Kick this time, man. Today. So I'm what still in my little foot. I, I'm gonna throw another turf shoe Boom, at you. With some info. And these are OG Zoom Turf Jet 97. OG. They were just called Zoom Turf Jet. So these are actually from 97. From 97. Now these two colorways, they never, they didn't release them during the um, all the retros they had maybe in 2012 that came out. No retro. This is an OG colorway. Um, OG. And when I found these maybe about five, six years ago, I think on eBay, I wanted to get these because this is OG. It has like the it's Jordan like the Raiders 9 Raiders colorway to yeah. me. And it has hints of the like Jordan 9 kind of 3M sparkly thing on just the little accents that goes around but mm -hmm. as you can see it's discoloring on the yellow I mean on the bottom but it still has your turf spikes and now the white ones these never released either this was a, a turf jet now what's unique about these is um, real quick yeah. it has more of a gym shoe bottom 
You know what I'm saying? So what the play, players actually, I don't know why they played on Astro Turf and not the field turf, but they wanted to play on the gym shoe bottom more so than the shoe that released, which had the turf spikes. So you can just see the difference in the bottoms. But this colorway, um, they also had like when I talked about my super zooms in a few videos back, they would have these in like different. Just where the black is at, it would be blue for different teams, maroon, red, uh, green. So all teams could have their own. Right in you know the East Bay, they probably had them. In the East Bay, if you ever look at an old East OB. Bay, you'll <laughs> see these and these in there. But for some reason, Nike didn't retro these, and these are the best two colorways. I mean, like you said, it's like a Raider. Both of them could be like a Raider type Definitely of colorway. Got the solo. But it's so OG, and these are, like I said, I had to bring some antiques out. I'm sure a lot of my old school shoe heads remember these two colorways that Nike didn't okay, release. But uh, that's my uh, on foot OG heat. Got the terse with the B ball bottom. Right, with the B ball Nobody bottom. got those. All right. Something I got here, busted these out because we we got blessed with a couple pairs recently in the beater boxes. I actually got this pair out of the beater box in the very good use condition. And no shame in my game, I'm rocking them too because it's some hot fire. I changed them up a little bit different. Not everybody gonna love it. I got the Chicago Bulls lace them in there, with like a Jordan 5 uh, lace lock to switch it up. But this is them bread number ones, some OG stuff. That hot fire, you know how I do it. That's that fire, man. Yeah. Just got me a pair in the beater box that were keepers. Keepers. That's how I was feeling too. I don't even blame you. So shout out to Soul Supremacy in California, where we get these beater boxes all the time. Much love to you. We appreciate you. And this is the Stone Cold Kicks channel. Mo Butters and Rock'em Stockin' Kicks. Two at a time, all the time. Until next time, keep it locked. <laughs>